my dear students, every year on the festival of Purim, to be observed beginning tomorrow evening, Jews read the book of Esther, the only biblical book that does not contain God's name. Further, it makes no mention of God's redemptive miracles. A miracle is a suspension of the laws of nature at a particular moment and for a particular purpose. The parting of the Reed Sea was a miracle because it is not in the nature of water to stand upright. The waters were commanded to do so in order to afford an escape route for the Jewish people at that time. But a second type of miracle is the hidden miracle, which happens in a natural manner that some might call coincidence. A person deeply in debt who suddenly receives a windfall inheritance that alleviates his financial plight might call his rescue a miracle, but he means that it is an extraordinary coincidence. In reality, a hidden miracle is God's way of getting done what he wants to be done without openly revealing that he is the director of developments. So there are open supernatural miracles that transcend or defy the laws of nature, and there are hidden miracles where God's redemptive actions occur in the course of normal developments. Purim is known as the holiday of the hidden miracle. This is because God saved the Jewish people without splitting any seas. In the miracle of Purim, nothing that strange happened. It was rather the way that events were tied together. The rise of a queen, overheard conversations, the pride of a tyrant, the sleeplessness of a king that allowed the people to be saved. God orchestrated these events from behind the scenes. Purim teaches that the hand of God is not always explicitly evident but is manifested through normal, natural events. The lesson of the book of Esther is that not all miracles are obvious suspensions of nature. Miracles are also embedded in everyday events. I believe that either everything is a miracle or nothing is a miracle. Miracles are all around us, all of the time. They may be hidden, but they are revealed to those with the insight and with the heart to perceive them. Shabbat Shalom.